What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Key Money. Blazers get a 129-107 victory over the Golden State Warriors tonight at the Motor Center. Let's go over all the team stats. For the Warriors, they go 39 of 97 for 40% from the field. They go 13 of 38 for 34% from the three-point line. They shoot 16 of 18 free throws for 89%. Of their 39 made baskets, they have 26 assists. They pull down 49 rebounds. They have 18 offensive rebounds. They get a steal. They get 10 blocks. And they have 8 turnovers. For the Blazers, they shoot 43 of 93 for 46% from the field. They go 16 of 37 for 43% from three. They go 27 of 34 for 79% from the foul line. Of their 43 made baskets, they have 24 assists. They get 48 rebounds. They have 14 offensive. They get three steals. They have four blocks. And they only have four turnovers the whole game. Individual stats for the Warriors. Kevin Durant on fire goes for 32 points on 12 of 17 shooting. He goes 3 of 4 from the 3 point land. He goes 5 of 6 from the foul line. Finishes up with a negative 6. He pulls down 2 offensive rebounds. Has 4 total. He dishes out 2 assists. Gets a uh, turnover and has 3 blocks. Steph Curry. He goes off as well for 32 points on 10 of 24 shooting. He shoots 5 of 14 from 3. He shoots 7 of 7 from the line. Finishes up with a negative 10. He pulls down the offensive rebound. He gets seven total. He dishes out two assists and has a turnover. Klay Thompson was all the way off. He had nine points on two of six shooting, or I'm sorry, two of 16 shooting. He goes two of seven from three. He goes three of three from the foul line. Finishes up with a negative 12. He pulls down an offensive rebound. He gets four total. He dishes out a career high time, eight assists but he also has one turnover. Draymond Green probably had one of his better offensive nights, especially efficiency-wise. He finishes up with nine points on four of seven shooting. He goes one of four from three, has a negative 14 and a plus minus. He pulls down the offensive rebound, gets five total. He just is out seven assists, has three turnovers, but he also gets three blocks. Looney, he finishes up the starting five with two points on one of five shooting. He goes for a negative 12, pulls down four offensive rebounds, has eight total. He gets three assists, has a turnover, and he also has two blocks. For the bench, Yurebko leads the way with six points on three of five shooting. He shoots all of one from three, finishes up with a negative five, he pulls down two offensive rebounds, has five total. He dishes out three assists has a steal and a block. Lee finishes up with six points on two of eight shooting. He shoots one of four from three, one of two from the line, finishes up with a negative 17. He pulls down two offensive rebounds, has four total. Bell finishes up with six points on three of seven shooting. He shoots all of his jumpers are all in the paint. He goes for a negative 13. He pulls down four offensive rebounds, has nine total. He gets an assist, has a turnover, and a block. Cook finished up with three points on one of six shooting. He shot one of four from three. Finished up with a negative 12. He also pulled down one board. And to round it up for the, for the Warriors, we had McKinney going for two points on one of two shooting. He had a negative nine. He pulled down the offensive rebound and had two total. For the Blazers, Damian Lillard leads the way with 29 points on 9 of 15 shooting. He goes 6 of 8 from 3, shoots 5 of 6 from the free throw line, finishes up with a plus 8. He pulls down one offensive rebound, has three total. He also dishes out eight assists. So a huge game offensively and playing a facilitator for Dan Lillard. C.J. McCollum wasn't his normal self, but he did finish up with 15 points on 5 of 13 shooting. He went 3 of 8 from, from 3. 
two of two from the foul line, finishes up with a zero. He pulls down two offensive rebounds, has three total. He dishes out two assists and has a turnover. Al Farouk Aminu, having one of his better games offensively. He shoots 12 points on three of seven shooting. He goes two of four from three, four of four from the line, finishes up with a negative three. He pulls down an offensive rebound, has seven total. He also dishes out four assists. Big Nurkic, not his greatest game, but he did end up finishing up with a double-double. He went for 11 points on 5 of 14 shooting. He went 1 of 4 from the foul line, finished up with a zero. He pulled down five offensive rebounds, had 11 total. He also dished out an assist, but had two turnovers. So, solid game from, from Nurk, but not his normal, not uh, his dominant self where I thought he would be because he had guys like Looney and Yurepko and McKinney and Bell on him. But he wasn't needed, so I can't really complain too much about that. For the starting lineup, Mo Harkless finishes it out with 10 points on 4 of 9 shooting. He went 1 of 3 from 3, went 1 of 2 from the foul line, finished up with a negative 2. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had 5 total. He also had a huge block on Kelly. Clay Thompson on the corner three. For the bench, Jake Layton once again leads the way. With 17 points on seven of nine shooting. He goes three of five from three. Finishes up with a plus 21. He also had two rebounds, got an assist, and had two steals. So once again, another big game for Jake Layton, especially offensively this game. Evan Turner. Showing back up offensively, had 12 points on 4 of 10 shooting. He went 0 of 1 from 3, went 4 of 4 from the foul line, finished up with a plus 10. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had 7 total. He also dished out 5 assists and had 1 turnover. So huge game in that facilitator role for the bench for Evan Turner. Seth Curry trying to do his best to... Match his brother, he finished up with 11 points on 3 of 6 shooting, went 0 of 3 from 3, but went 5 of 7 from the foul line, finished up with a plus 28, which was a game high. He pulled down one offensive rebound, had 3 total, also dished out 3 assists. Rodney Hood had another good offensive game, went for 8 points on 3 of 5 shooting, he went 1 of 3 from 3. Oh, or one of one from the foul line, finished up with a plus 25. He pulled down a, bound, a rebound, had an assist, and had a steal. So solid game from Rodney Hood. Looks like he's finding his footing with, with the Blazers. Zach Collins finished up the score for the Blazers with four points. He went actual 0 of 4 from the field, went 0 of 1 from 3, but he made all of his free throws. He finished up with a plus 21. He pulled down two offensive rebounds, had five total. He also had three blocks. So, Collins was huge in that backup center role tonight. And it looks, it's looking more and more like Myers Leonard might be that odd man out because he didn't even get in this game. And in garbage time, they had LaVissier and Anthony Simons playing. Like Myers Leonard might not be in the plans. I don't know if we're going to make a trade or what's going to happen to him, but hopefully we do end up keeping him because he is, I think, still a valuable piece to the, to the Blazers. For the game notes, Blazers have eight players in double figures tonight. They use a 35 12 fourth quarter to blow the game all the way open. Uh, KD and Curry go for 32. But no one else has double figures on the team. So it's going to be tough to win when it's only two guys. And it's just proof that DeMarcus Cousins is definitely a needed piece for the Warriors to be able to go ahead and repeat as champions, in my opinion. Uh, Blazers go ahead and snap the Warriors' 11-game road win streak. Um, Jake Lehman coming up big offensively. It was a terror again to, to cover. He had two steals, which means he was in the passing lanes. Uh, pulled down two boards, had an assist. He 
It just can do everything, a little bit of everything. And like I've been saying, it looks like Layman is here to stay. Uh, big Seth Curry had extra motivation tonight with his brother coming to town. Everybody knows that the Blazers definitely like playing against the Warriors, especially Dame. Dame was special tonight. Uh, Rodney Hood, solid effort again. This is his fourth game. I don't want to say this is probably three good games from, from Hood, and he had one so-so game so far. So liking what, what he's bringing to the table. Draymond Green just arguing way too much with these refs. They kind of called a silly flagrant foul on him late in the fourth quarter to kind of blow this game a little bit open where we had like it was like a technical foul where Dame shot two free throws. I don't know how. I'm assuming because uh, Steve Kerr got ejected and then I think Draymond Green got a tech. So Dame had two free throws and then Collins had two free throws, and then the Blazers got the ball, and the Blazers, I want to say, they scored that whole, like, all of those sequences. They, they had four points on the, on the free throws, and then they had, I want to say, either Dane or someone like that hit a shot, and it was a two, so it was like a six-point swing, and at the time, the Blazers were up, I want to say, ten at the time, and it just blew the game open. As far as for the Blazers, 34 wins at, at uh, the All-Star break this year. So that's a plus two in wins, a minus three in losses. They played one less game this year. Last year, they they were the sixth seed going into All-Star break and ended up the third seed. This year, we're at the fourth seed. And with the way they're playing, who knows? They may be able to sneak up into that third seed maybe even the second seed depending on how the Nuggets do I mean they got they got another win and Isaiah Thomas looked pretty good in his debut so I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon OKC I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon we haven't beaten either well I think we've beaten them we beat the Nuggets once and we haven't beaten OKC at all this year so those are the two teams that we're looking up at besides the Warriors who we finish out two and two against them, so definitely big win on on that. Huge momentum going into the All Star break, especially for all the guys. Especially after those two losses back to back, this is huge win right now. And just liking what I'm seeing, even though even in losses, I'm liking I'm liking how the team is fighting till the end. They're not giving up. They're not trying to concede. They want they want these wins. And Dame said it best earlier in a, in a post game that uh, they let a few slip away, but you can't really be too mad about where the Blazers are sitting right now. And I just can't wait till the second half of the season. I'm not even sure who we played yet, but uh, I'm not really worried about that right now. Just savoring this moment right now. Because Blazers definitely needed this win. I was actually thinking that we would get the Mavericks win, possibly lose to OKC, and then possibly lose to the Warriors. But we ended up losing to the teams I didn't think we would and beating the team that I didn't think we would. But definitely can't complain about the dub. But this is your boy P Money. Shout out to the whole entire LDBC. Shout out to all my subscribers. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe.